dinosaur head, nicknamed Baby Jane, goes on sale in Paris. Archaeologists discover 500-year-old hand processes in southern Germany. Unearthed Chinese bronze squares show respect for rice thousands of years ago. A 68-million-year-old skull of a triceratops, a dinosaur species instantly recognizable by its striking throat head with three horns, goes on sale this autumn in Paris at Christie Annual Exceptional Sale on November 21st. I present to you Baby Jane, who is 68 million years old and was discovered in 1998 in South Dakota in the U.S. and has been repackaged to represent this Triceratops skeleton head. The head is an iconic head since I think just about every child or every grown-up children that we are can recognize this animal. It's one of the most iconic animals, the Triceratops. The peaceful herbivore usually measures up to 9 meters in length and 12 tons in weight. The skull was found in South Dakota in the U.S. in 1998. We have to do the conservation work of reconstituting them, of making this presentation, and that makes it possible to have them in public collections, of which there are some too, but private individuals have to get involved too, to be able to conserve these species. Baptized Baby Jean by one of its previous owners, the skull is estimated at 300,000 to 500,000 euros or 323,670 to 539,450 dollars. In 2021, a Triceratops skull was sold for the highest ever price of 500,000 pounds sterling at a Christie auction in London. Among the other rare items set to go under the hammer is a rare haute couture Chanel wedding dress designed by Karl Lagerfeld in 2014 and a book civil coat personally owned by Napoleon Bonaparte. A 500-year-old hand prosthesis was found in southern Germany during construction in summer. A medieval skeleton with the iron prosthesis was dug up in the Bavarian town of Freising near Munich. A radiocarbon dating of the skeleton shows that it belonged to a man between the age of 30 and 50, who died sometime between 1450 and 1620. Yeah. The special thing is that we don't buy prosthetic hands very often, especially not ones that are around 500 years old. In Central Europe, only around 50 arm or hand prostheses are currently known. And these prostheses allow us very, very exciting insights into questions of medical history. The prosthesis was fitted for a left hand missing part of his finger, reason being a potential amputation, the identity of a man who has been buried in a mass grave, and how he lost his hand is not clear. The thumb was present on the stump of the hand while the fingers were missing. And that's why this stump of a hand sat in an iron shell and the four fingers were rigidly mounted. They were also hollow and made of iron. And then that's why it's so green. There were copper or brass fittings with holes in them. And then you could lace this prosthesis tightly to the stump of the hand.
Many people during those time periods lost limbs in various ongoing wars and conflicts. Prostheses were a luxury item back then. Usually, most people who lost limbs in wars back then simply no longer had them. And here was someone who got a replacement. Of course, it's never fully functional, but they try to make life easier for this person, and it has to be said, with very high quality methods for the time. On the one hand, it shows the state of medicine at the time. Prosthesis production is complex, and it also shows that a person has been found who has had a very interesting story. And additionally, it shows that here in Bavaria, we still have a lot of these stories lying in the ground that we can find out. The magnificent double-tailed bronze tiger unearthed alongside other Kadra relics from the tombs of the Shang dynasty from 1600 to 1046 BC in Dayangzhou town pushed the timeline of civilization in the southern Yangtze River back by over 1,700 years and showcased people's respect for rights at that time. In the Provincial Museum of East China's Jiangxi province, one of the previous artifacts is a double-tailed bronze tiger. The bird and the tiger live in harmony, symbolizing a perfect balance of tranquility. With this unique design, it is a one-of-a-kind bronze vessel in the world. The tiger-shaped vessel with a bird-shaped handle has a unique artistic form. The tiger-shaped vessel unearthed from a Shang dynasty tomb in Xingan County is the core of a national civilization symbol system. Together with a series of ritual vessels epitomized by the tripod with tiger ear shaped handles, it forms the symbol system for the national power of the Hu Fang state. Across the expansive Dayang Zhou tombs, 56 tiger sculptures were found. The tiger serves as the defining regional cultural motif of the Shang dynasty tombs in Xinkan County. Distinct from the human-centric East Mediterranean Bronze Civilization and the weapon-centric Eurasia Steppe Bronze Civilization, carving out its own unique regional aesthetic pattern. From a mere 40 square meters of earth, over 1,300 artifacts were unearthed, including 475 exquisite bronze pieces, surpassing the 468 pieces from the tomb of Fu Hao, the ruins of the ancient Shang dynasty's capital. These discoveries all point to one ancient kingdom, the Kufang state, the tomb in Da Yangzhou town of Xingan County is the royal tomb of the Gufang state, while Nito City, located three kilometers west of the tomb, was its capital. Jiangxi offered copper to the Xiang and Zhou dynasties in the central plains in the Bronze Kingdom in the south. The Da Yangzhou Township of Xinkan County is part of the Qingjiang River Basin in central Jiangxi, as well as a hub for cultural exchange and fusion between the central plains and ancient Jiangxi.
It has long been assumed that Chinese civilization was primarily located in the soil-rich Yellow River Plains in central China. However, these discoveries suggest that alongside the Shang dynasty, civilization centered around the central plains. An independent civilization thrived in the Kanjiang River Basin in the middle reaches of the Yangtze River. Originating over 3,000 years ago, this culture predates ancient Rome by over 1,000 years and is 1,700 years older than previously thought, the curator added. The Southern Bronze Kingdom was the largest and most influential regional power core in southern China during the Bronze Age. It witnessed how the Chinese civilization embraced other civilizations and led the eventual integration into the broader Chinese national identity. Together, the civilizations paint a colorful tapestry of human history.